good morning. Ooh, I am really bright. Let's fix this. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. What's it doing? Why am I so bright? So bright. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I got new glasses over the weekend. I'm real excited about. Yeah, that's too bright. I guess that's all right. I never know with cameras. <laughs> but I got I got the ones that do the like their blue light reflective and then also they snap on different frames the pair I wear. So I got sunglasses. I'm thinking I might get another one. They're pretty cool though. They're just clear frames. Cause I'm not a huge fan of like the plastic glasses usually because they're just so big and like thick. So I thought the clear ones would would be better. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm I'm liking them so far. So far, so good. I don't know if they reflect strangely. You can kind of see the the blue sheen on it <laughs> from the ring light. Which I, I feel like does not do a good enough job. I like the blue light is so blue. There. <laughs> anyway, today is the last planned honeycomb day. And it was supposed to be pink purple day. I'm gonna have to try to see if I can make pink purple work. Okay, we have a pink. We have a couple light purples. Let's see if we can avoid the mistakes of our past. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we can try. <laughs> ah, my hair. Okay. All right, let's see here. I do want to try and try it out a little bit. Turn the light on. Is that helpful? Hopefully. Okay, so... Let's see. Maybe we need another test page. This one's a little full. A little full? Yeah, let me get a new test page. We don't have to squish it in there. Go. New test page. All right, let's see what we can do here. Actually, we can put that for now. Just use this. And we're gonna do a couple. Just to test it out and. Because it got so muddy last time. My theory was it was because it was dark colors, but we'll see, I guess. This doesn't have to be perfect, I just want a couple. Let's see. Alright, let's see here. go light to dark this time instead. So let's try doing the lightest color first. Because I've been starting with the darker color. Maybe that's my issue. Maybe it should be light to dark. Maybe? That's why we're testing. Ah, so shaky. Okay. Calm down here. This is almost blue. I don't want that. Oh, there you go. A little better. Okay. So then if I... Grab 
this to it. What do you do? Maybe we just don't even bother with the darker one? Maybe we just do two. Let's see. Let's see what we get. I'm curious. Oh, of course, I immediately stick a hair in it. How did you even happen? Better on the test page than on the real thing. Is there another one? Oh my gosh. I feel like this isn't it. Oh, it's different paper. I need more water. There we go. Hmm. So the pink, I think, is not enough on its own, but the purple is really nice, actually. It turned out very light and pretty. So yeah, maybe that, but then a little bit more on the outside. Okay. So far, the light colors, I'm, I am liking it. So what if I just do pink in the middle. And then light purple. That's what it's gonna look like. Do just like a tad a little bit. What does this look like? Let's see. Let's test it out. Okay, we got the pink going. I think that's lovely. How lovely is that? That is, that's absolutely lovely. I approve. I really like that, actually. I think that is... Look, just, just... Ah! <laughs> you, get, you get a check mark for being lovely. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. That's what we're doing. <laughs> That is what we're doing, 100%. Okay. Success. Alright, but well, first, we need our honeycomb. Oh, let me sharpen this line. Not too far into it yet. So we're gonna just go to the trash can so I don't, I don't make a mess. One moment. sharpened pencils. Ta-da! Man, I'm excited. I feel like that means we're gonna have like two really nice ones. I'm gonna go back and make them all just really light now. <laughs> that's it, redo. <laughs> it's honeycombs forever, that's all we're drying. Forevermore. I think keeping this one direction really helped too. Oh, I have like. You get like a piece of oatmeal stuck to the roof of your mouth. Not pleasant. Maybe coffee will fix that. Oh, 
Oh, I think actually. I got it. <laughs> Coffee fixes everything. Exhibit A. I guess. Yeah, it'll work. Okay. So it begins. The... It's so cute. You gotta be able to see it. No. Better? Yeah. Since the colors are so light, it should make all the actual painting part a little easier, too. played a lot of Hogwarts yesterday. I've gotten so many levels just from wandering around and exploring and doing the like, little puzzles and stuff. I've been putting off the main quest for so long. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be playing this game for freaking ever. <laughs> there's just, it's kind of open worldish, so there's so many just random like side quests that pop up and stuff. <laughs> I will be playing this forever. <laughs> It'll never end. I mean, it's enjoyable though. It's I like um, the exploring and the little puzzles and stuff because it's not stressful. Tricky really likes the combat. I'm like, that's fine. I have it on easy because why would I not? But that's not why I'm here. Definitely here for the wandering about and finding out if you tap on the slithering glass enough, the cracking throws a tentacle at you. Like, hey, stop it. <laughs> You know, I'm here for that stuff. <laughs> I still haven't gotten to the part where you can collect the animals yet. I'm really looking forward to that. I keep coming upon all these animals in like cages and I'm like, I can't unlock any of the locks, so I feel so bad. <laughs> Gotta get the, the lock picking spell. It's too bright today. It's kind of bright through the window. Let's see. Does that help? Can't tell if that's worse or better. <laughs> Get in there. There we go. I'm going under the paper. Don't go under the paper. It defeats the purpose of the template. I'm just drawn willy nilly. Slow methodical process. Mm. It's too high up. Yeah. Hi, Nimbus. 
I have a kitty. Lavern Santar. Hey, how's it going? Today is pink and purple honeycomb day. So that's that's what we're going for. How's your Sunday going? <laughs> Hi, Bando. <laughs> We're just over here relaxing, doing some drawing. That leads that's gonna lead to some painting. You doing anything fun today? Or are you also trying to have a relaxing day? Excited for how this is gonna turn out. I think it's gonna be like my second favorite. If it goes according to plan. sleeping. Come on, Zeno, wake up. There. <laughs> this gets a little crooked. Can't have that. Don't you like? Yeah, see, it's angled. No, no. Paper, stay, stay down. Can't be a hot mess. <laughs> okay, hopefully that's all right. <gasps> How was Tricky's Diablo run? He got three max level characters in two days. <laughs> the max level for the beta is 25. <laughs> He finished last night at like 12.30. He was so excited. He really enjoyed it. <laughs> he, I think his favorite was the sorceress. I think is what he said. That was his favorite one. And he tried to make her look a little like me. <laughs> I thought that was cute. He had some pretty good streams too. Decent amount of lurkers and stuff. It was a good time. He had some friends pop by. I think he, I think he had a good time. So he played Diablo and then I played Harry Potter. <laughs> it was a gaming weekend. For sure. Hey, the couple that games together stays together? Is that how that works? Maybe? <laughs> Although, I've tried to play the other Diablos and it's just not really my kind of game. I get too lost in all the visuals. It's like sensory overload. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I'm just button mashing now. And yeah, there's like 50 enemies in like this tiny little section. How can you tell what you're doing? It's all flashy colors. <laughs> I get too lost. Gaming weekend sounds awesome. Yeah, it was a good time. Between Harry Potter and my paint by number, it was very chill. Did you any do anything besides study this weekend, Summer? Did you, did you take a small break? 
and relax a little bit. Oh, I don't know if you saw, I got new glasses. They're from Pear, they're the, time, the type that you can like snap on the different colors on the front and stuff. I got the little sunglasses snap on. I'm very excited. If anyone needs glasses, this isn't like a sponsored thing or anything, but they gave you a little code, you know? So like, if you have someone that also needs glasses, they get like $25 off or something, or percent, I don't remember which it is. So if anyone needs glasses, I've got a little link. Let me know. I can forward it to you. I don't think it has like a cap on how many uses per like people wise but they turned out really good my anxiety is peaking anxiety that's not good I know you're almost to your test date you'll do it it's okay drink a lot of tea <laughs> deep breaths I'd never taken a test quite as hard as, as that, but I remember in college, I'd get to the, like the night before and be like, well, I've done my studying for the day. If I do anything else, I'm just going to be an anxious mess. I can't possibly learn anything more before then. I'm just going to relax. So I'd spend like the night before just like relaxing. <laughs> because you don't want to like self-sabotage for being so stressed out, you know. Done. Back to lurking. Good luck, Summer. Good luck with your studies. Thanks for lurking. Oh, stop, no, stop. This one's a little too, too much over here. And over there. Okay. Alright. Time to lighten this up a little bit. Maybe in the other one I was trying to layer too much. Maybe that's what it is. I shouldn't have layered too so many. And the color moves around, but that could have been the issue, I suppose. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. Ugh, let me blow my nose, and then we'll. Get to the color. You guys, you have to see what I rediscovered in my drawer the other day. This thing is adorable. So years ago, I went to IKEA because I love IKEA. And I found this little nightlight. How cute is he? And he changes colors like rainbow. See, now he's like purpley blue. And then it goes to like red. So it's like this weird cat alien thing. And they're so freaking cute. <laughs> so I found it again and it's been sitting next to my bed on my nightstand. <laughs> and I went to Ikea last year and I saw others. They have like a whole different set of them now. They're so cute. And like, I mean, how many nightlights could I possibly have? I don't even like them on when I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh, I should get Harold out. I think your name was Harold. I think that's what I decided. Yeah. Okay. So pink kind of in the middle. Right, that's what we decided. Yeah. Hmm. 
And then we'll leave the purple on the edges. I'm not sure if I have... I have kind of a dark pink paint. I guess if I need to, I can water that down. Or add ma Ooh, I can add some white to it and then make like a good pink. Alright. Trying a new technique. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. Here's to hoping. Hi, Socks. What you doing, babies? You sniffing? Yeah. I see you over there. Oh, good kitty. <laughs> what you doing? A little nose out of my pants, you silly boy. What you doing? You're just over there being cute? Yeah, just over here being cute. Alright, well, enjoy your being cute. Ah! Stop. Gonna sit there and stare at me. <laughs> Hi, Lena. Oh, there she goes. It's just staring at me. You, you want a color? <laughs> Don't lick the paint. What are you doing, sir? No, no, being a kitty menace, please. So inquisitive. That's the one thing I really liked about you when you were a kitten. You just wanted to know what was going on. Should have known that would have meant you were just going to be trouble. Okay, I poke it. I poke the nose. <laughs> You're so inquisitive. Yeah. To be where the action is. What, what's going on? Got to supervise. Okay, here we go. Kind of dry out, so it's a little staticky. Let's if we can't put you up. Hey, don't attack the kitty nightlight. What are you doing, sir? That is not a hamster for you. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> no destruction. No destruction, please. But mother, I was born for destruction and chaos. You see these claws? You see these whiskers? I was born in a darkness. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this is a mess. <laughs> it's like I have a horn. Whatever, it's up. Pulling there though. No, hair, hair. Why is gonna be like this today? Guess we're not putting my hair up today. I might try again later. Maybe we can tame it into a braid here in a little bit. I still have to go looking for my prisma colors. Stop. I 
have a couple more boxes I can look through. And try and find them. Hmm, actually I need to sharpen this again. This pink must be really soft. It's flying through it. Alright, hang on. There, that's better. Alright, let's see if we can get you to just be a braid instead. Will you accept a braid? Because that'll keep you out of the way. It's gonna be braid life today. <sighs> Got my car fixed the other day though. My back window rolls up again. We have put the child lock on so no one will ever touch it because it cost me $700 to fix my window. Which is way too much. Why are cars so expensive to fix? Well, it's just one part. It's crazy, huh? Cars, I swear. And it's not like it's old either. Just decided. I don't want that window to work no more. Just gonna, gonna let it fall. We had it taped up for a little while before I could get into the shop. Oh my gosh. But I did go to the dealership. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I shouldn't be going to car dealerships. I just figure they'll have the parts in, you know? There we go. Back to my pink. I've seen a few um, like Pinterest things and Instagram things where people do watercolors and they go back over in color pencil and add like itty bitty detail stuff. Like a mixed media thing. If I can find my color pencil, so I thought that might be kind of fun. You know? Do it on like the the what was it, the hot pressed one, so it's really smooth and the pencil looks nice. Yesterday, my back was hurting from sitting on my chair all day and playing Hogwarts. <laughs> so I lay down on the couch, and there's this TV show that is on. I don't know what TV channel it is. It's like a British one, and they do um, like designer challenges. It's always so interesting what they come up with because I feel like what's considered like good design in the UK is not necessarily what the US thinks is like good design. So some of them are real weird to me. <laughs> Like, what is going on? Why? What's with all these bold colors? Oh my gosh. Some of them I really like, and others I'm like, I do not understand that at all. But I guess that could be said about 
stuff over here too. Nikki used to watch um, Project Runway as a teenager with my mom, and some of the things were pretty cool, and others you're just like, what is going on? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm like, that's not even clothes. Who can wear that? But I guess it's all supposed to be, like, ideas of stuff. I don't know. But it was always fun to watch. I wonder if that's still on. I'm sure if it's not, there's something similar out there now. People love competition shows, and I am no different. The, I like the British baking ones, like their holiday editions and stuff. I usually like to put those on around the holidays. All those treats always look so good, and then I'm just sad because I don't have them. And I'm not much of a baker or a cook, so I'm like, where can I go to buy this? I'm gonna go buy these amazing little sweets. <laughs> and these, like, fun breads and stuff. Ugh. Who doesn't love a good carb, eh? Hi, Luna. I see you over there. At the corner of my eye, ma'am. What you doing? Are you, are you playing? Are you looking for someone? I don't think there's another kitty in here. Socks left. Hi, Feisty. Hi, Miss Feisty. <gasps> window kitty? Maybe? Yeah, window kitty. <laughs> Does anybody know? Remember all those like holiday movies, like the Hallmarky kind of ones, like Netflix and Hulu have during Christmas and the month of December or November? Do they have those all year round, or do they like take them off to make room for things? Or could you be watching like A Castle of Christmas in the middle of July? Is that a thing? Kind of wondering. Curious now. I never thought about that. Light purple time. Because it's just a category, right? That just happens to be featured during the holidays. I wonder. I do wonder. this in a little. Yeah. Like that? I think so. I mean, this is what we're aiming for, so... That'll do, pig. That'll do. And then this guy last. I should just do them both. This is just for like the very outer edges. I want to love this so bad. Just let me love you. 
work out the way I want you to. Come on. I need a win today, color watercolor pencils. I need a win. I do feel like my camera should be on the other side, but that's where my computer is. Oh my gosh, don't fall down and break. That would be the worst. We didn't get to play Warhammer on Friday, guys, and I'm sad. One of our people was sick. Another one had other prior commitments. Sad. I'm like, no. Game night, though. So hopefully next week. This is pretty much the month of February. Tricky and I were pretty busy, so... We were the ones going, sorry guys, I can't make it. <laughs> and I'm so excited, this is gonna look so good when it's done. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. <gasps> What's that? Junior! How's it going? Happy Sunday. This is what we're aiming for today. This beautiful, like, faded pink purple going on over here. Have high hopes. <laughs> what are your Sunday plans for today? Some relaxing, some gaming, perhaps. But Charlie? That's funny. Silly captions. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a great weekend, Junior. Whatever it is you decide to do. I started early today because Tricky was planning on streaming more Diablo, but. I think he said that he can't because it closes at like noon or something. So I guess I didn't need to start early, but that's all right. Just means I'll have more time to play Hogwarts. thyself. I was planning on playing Diablo, but I was looking up when it closes. Oh, yeah. I think Tricky said noon. I don't know. If you know, let me know. Because that pretty much tells me when I have to be off the computer. <laughs> if it's going to be closed when he gets home, or if it's going to be open. I mean, he has three max level characters now, so it's not like there's too much... Leveling wise, he can do, but. I think he enjoyed it a lot. He was up pretty late playing.
Did you find out, Junior? Is it noon? Evidently, it doesn't end until March 20th. Oh, 3 p.m. Eastern? Oh. Okay, well, I better hurry then. Because <laughs> he's going to want to be playing. I guess he can play and not stream, but... He has to share streaming time. And it's my turn. Sunday mornings are mine. <laughs> That's cool, though. He thought it ended at noon today. He took a Friday off to play it. Isn't that funny? Hi, Nibus. What's up? Touched your tail. Run away in fear. Ah. You're not hungry, Fando. You're fine. Although I do want to get you to the next level today, so let me let me do that. There you go. I'm gonna keep on top of that if I want the next color. Yeah, I get to play all day. Nice. Do you have a favorite class, Junior? Is the Sorceress also your favorite currently? The Tricky decided. He really liked that one. And it was the last one he played, too. He's really excited to try out the Druid, though. That's what he said. Once that one is available. <gasps> Hello, Deep. How's it going? Have you also been on the Diablo beta train? <laughs> I've only played Sources, but I love it. I want to try Druid next weekend, too. <laughs> Deep! Yeah, because isn't the Druid the one that hasn't been in the other games, right? If I remember what he was telling me. Like the brand new one. Well, why did that get crooked? I don't like that at all. What happened there? It's unfortunate. It happened. I mean, it's like a trick of the eye. The line actually goes to like here. Hmm. No, I'll probably wait till next weekend to try it out. I thought the beta closed soon. Does it reopen again? No clues. This is my first Diablo game. Oh, gotcha. I tried to play it, and it's just... I get too overwhelmed by all the flashy colors. I can't tell what's going on. It's like, here's 50 enemies. Just just button mash, because everything is just going to be crazy. You're not going to be able to tell what's happening anyway. <laughs> this weekend, it's open for people who pre-order next weekend for everybody. Oh, okay, so it was only like a week early thing. Got a kitty go zooming by. That's fun. Are you, do you have a class you're excited for, Deep? So far, everything I've heard from people is that they're enjoying it a lot. So that's good. So, yeah. 
So, so far, rave reviews. Yeah. So far, rave reviews. Captions, come on, work with me. Luna, why do you keep running around? What's happening? Did you just poop or something? Are we doing celebration laps? I really love it. I got a beta code for this weekend. I'm a KFC chicken sandwich? Oh, that's really funny. I have a good though. Me and my buddy finished Sons of the Forest last night. Played a bunch of hunt, which is always a good time. So, remind me what hunt is. Is that the one where it's like open world PvP? Or is that the one where one of you is a monster and like four other viewers are you are hunters? Because that game is real cool. But I think that was called Prey, not Hunt. I've just been playing my relaxing Hogwarts life, leveling up solely through little side puzzles and wandering about. <laughs> it's like a walking simulator, if that's all you do, you know. It's more like a battle royale, but everyone is also trying to kill and banish a target monster and extract with the bounty. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, are you in socks running about? Is that what's happening? Are you chasing Luna, sir? Oh my goodness, you kitties. Sounds like PUBG with a monster. <laughs> got into those kinds of games. I'm not super competitive, so like PvP is not my thing. I'm not like the type to like, I'm gonna rise to the challenge. I'm like, eh, I keep dying. I'm gonna do something else. <laughs> hey! You too! Thanks. Oh my goodness gracious. Kitties? Can you hear the demon like growling in the background? You guys! Luna, just kick his butt and then he'll leave you alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously, Luna, just kick his butt and he'll leave you alone. These cats. Being menaces, I tell you. I never know if they're like, there's actually a problem because my older cat makes a lot of noise, even if there's nothing going on. <laughs> but she does like to be chased, like her and the dog will go running and she's fine, you know, the dog just like boops her with the nose. But like when this cat chases her, she makes like the most demony sounds I have ever heard in my life. It's the funniest thing. And I'm like, he's not actually hurting you. So I know you're okay. Because <laughs> I've seen it happen. Why the demon noises? What's, what's happening here? Cats are silly. Endless entertainment. <laughs> wow, what am I making? Ma Mazzy Kensky? Ma Mazzy Kensky? How do you say your name? Welcome in. Um, we're making pink and purple honeycomb. 
So the goal is so it looks like this, but in pink and purple. And these are watercolor pencils. They look... Sorry, there's cat drama happening. They look kind of weird, like, while you're doing it. And then you add water, and it looks like that. It's very weird. <laughs> now, how's your Sunday going? Are you also an artist? This one got such an odd shape. And this one too. I don't know what happened there. I must have wiggled the template a little bit or something. Cursed wiggling. Stop camera. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to call you Maisie because that's how my sister spells her cat's name and her cat's name is Maisie. start the magical part. I hope since we did the test, I think it'll be good. But these things are weird. If you've never given the watercolor pencils a try, it's definitely interesting. Digging the guitar -y folk music today. I don't know why. Just hitting the spot. Hey, Vex, how's it going? It looks so cool, like honeycomb. Love the colors. Thanks. Yep. Valentine's Day kind of themed honeycomb today. something a little different we did a test page and we're doing like just light in the middle and not layering as much thinking that might help with the muddiness we got on the green one last time so hopefully it's more controlled and a little less chaos <laughs> Have any like light pink paint, so we'll see how that goes. But I have high hopes because that actually turned out pretty cute. So maybe my, my theory over the lighter colors work better for this. Would be correct. Creates such cool stuff. Thanks, Junior. <laughs> I'm tired trying to find my dongle for my controller. Or try playing Inquisitor Martyr. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. 
I was just saying, I've been playing Hogwarts lately. Been a good, a good time. Lighter colors definitely seem to work better. I'm loving the color combo, right? Like this. I'm pleased. Oh, also, everyone who hasn't noticed, I got new glasses. Here, I'm, I want to show them off. One second. I got new glasses, guys. They're clear frames. They're from the Pear Eyewear website. I wanted to try them because they do the like little snap-on things. So I got snap-on sunglasses, which are really cool. They're in the other room. So if anyone needs glasses, this is not a sponsored stream, but I do have like a refer a friend code <laughs> that can be used multiple times. So, but yeah, it worked out really well. I'm real happy with them. What do you guys think? And these ones have like the blue light blocking so I could wear them with the while I'm doing computer stuff. I'm super excited about them. New glasses are always super fun. Come on, pair eyewear, sponsor me. <laughs> I, I'm always on the fence about big plastic frames, but I, I'm happy with the clear. I feel like it's not as obtrusive as like thick black green frames on my face. I don't have a very big face, so. Oh, I wonder, hey Vex, I know you have trouble with the screens and stuff ever since you had that medical thing happen with you. Do the blue light blocking glasses or anything help at all? Like I'm sure you've you know tried lots of stuff. I'm just curious though. If that affects it. Last one. I must say with the the blue light, like looking at myself in the mirror, I look very yellow. <laughs> it's really weird because it's blocked with the blue. <laughs> I don't mind. You can say strokes. Blue light and brightness are rough on my eyes, but more for just photosensitivity unrelated. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting another pair that don't have the blue light blocking so that I can wear them like just out and about and stuff. I turn off blue light and backlighting on all of my screens. Yeah, I turn the I turn the, the like the night light on. So if you look at my screens are always like very yellow. <laughs> Jerky sits on my computer and looks at my computer screen. He's like, what's wrong with your screen? And like my phone too, I have the blue light filter thing on. So every time I like look at his phone or something like we're looking at something and he shows me and I'm like, oh my god, it's so bright. <laughs> How can you stand to stare at that? It's gonna be so bad for your eyes. <laughs> I don't think I ever have my brightness more than like 25% unless we're like out in daylight. <laughs> it's so bright. But yeah, I think I think I might need another another pair without the blue light for when we go on trips and stuff. Like for my sun, like the glasses and stuff. So cool. And I think they have like all the little like. So the gimmick is that it's magnetic, so you can snap on like different, um, like top frames, so you can have different colored glasses, right? So I think I want I want more of those. That'd be really fun. They've got like a Slytherin one or like spring ones. They have got some like. Who do they? They have an artist one too. Who's on there? I think it's like Van Gogh inspired frames. That's really cool. Anyway, I'm just, but I'm gushing. I'm excited. <laughs> the the metal frame glasses I was wearing, they were, they were just very old and very beat up. It was time for, time for a bit of an upgrade. Plus, I was tired of putting sunglasses on top of my glasses, you know? 
<laughs> that was that person. <laughs> okay, guys. I think it's magic time. I think so. Okay, I'm a little worried about here. Just, 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 just a little more. Just a little more color. Alright, before I start the magic, I'm gonna go take a bathroom break, because coffee. And then we'll start the actual painting. One moment. Tiny kitty hostage. Hi, baby. Oh, my screen went dark again. <laughs> Here, let's fix that. Why did you do this? Why? Why you be like this? Too bright. Just right. <laughs> kitty. I know he was not in the mood though. Nox, come back. Why won't you love me? Screen backlighting is where most of the blue light comes from, so cracking, cranking that down helps a lot. I never leave the house without wearing sunglasses anymore. I have to crank the brightness on my phone when I do fight against the sunlight brightness, but I always blind myself when I'm home in the cave again. <laughs> Summer with that Xeno hydrate. <laughs> Kitty! I know, he's run away now. It's like, mother, no. Mother, how dare you? Alright, magic time. Okay, Carol, you stay. Let's put these away. Zeno! We can make it to 22 today, right? I think we can get a Zeno up to the next level. I believe in us. Alrighty. <laughs> so refreshing. Oh, have I shown you guys my, um, so I have my water cup on a coaster. There's the coaster. Is she cute? I've had this for freaking ever. Got it at a red fair. I have a matching set of, well, I guess not like matching matching. One of them's like a red fairy and then there's a green satyr. And... Anyway. Okay. Paint time. Let's do this. Dev Whisperer, hello. I'm just getting to the magic part. <laughs> Time to make the watercolor pencil into actual paint. I have high hopes. Don't disappoint me, paint. Hydrate that Xena. Oh, he's so cute. Mm, see, already the pink got a little see through. It was brighter on that one. Let's see what we can do with this purple, though. Hello! How's your Sunday going? <laughs> we have someone else pop it in. Kohai of Alfimon. It sounds like a Digimon. It really does. Kohai, can we just call you Kohai? How's your Sunday going? Everyone popping in for the fun part. Everyone's like, we'll wait till the coloring part is over, because that part's boring, but we'll, we'll pop in for the painting part, where it gets good. <laughs> there we go. 
I want those same swirls I got on the yellow one because I just really think that looked nice. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what it's doing here. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I think the pink showed up better on this paper. That might be a paper thing. I didn't think about that. But I do, I do like it. It is still very pretty. Very pastel. You're good, a bit sleepy. Do you, need, do you also need some coffee? That's what I'm drinking today. Because just, just a little bit of caffeine just fixes everything, right? <laughs> I stayed up late watching uh, my boyfriend play some video games. The Diablo beta weekend. It's pretty cool. Get in there. I definitely need coffee. Coffee for everybody. Are you guys a Starbucks drinker or like an espresso at home drinker or just like a pot of coffee drinker? I'm always sleepy. I have hypersomnia. Oh my gosh. That would definitely make things a little difficult. I'm not I'm not sure coffee is going to work for that one. You're right. That might be that might be a little past caffeine's ability to to help you out there. <laughs> In a constant state of nappiness. That would be oh, rather difficult. I do not envy you that. Uh, what do we, guys, what do we think? Are we liking this pastel? I'm kind of liking the pastel. I think it was, was it Amesley who originally wanted pink? So thank you, Amesley Cat, for the pink and purple suggestion. It's kind of cute. Pretty, thanks. Prefer pot of coffee home, cream and sugar. <laughs> Local coffee shops are my go-to. Means I, let's see. Means I sleep a lot, like 14 to 17 hours, always sleepy. But I like coffee because it tastes good. I definitely, so the current coffee I'm drinking is actually those little like cappuccino mixes. I really like the vanilla one. That's my go-to. Like, I'll drink some like coffee if it has like something fun in it, but I can't do just like just like plain coffee. I can't do it. It's too better for me. And I, I am a big tea fan as well, so but coffee does have its place for sure. Sometimes tea just can't cut it. <laughs> Go to colors, but I'm not I'm not mad about it. I think hindsight I would have added more pink, but really not too bad. And then I think I'm still getting the swirls I want in the middle, which is nice. Yeah. Cute. I usually go to a cafe in Maine's. They have really nice coffee and fries. Coffee and fries? What? I have never heard of such a thing. Is that like when people dip their fries in their milkshake? Is it like a different version of that? <laughs> Coffee and fries. I would have never thought to put that together, if I'm being honest. Like fries with things on it? 
Hear me out there. <laughs> the fries are good? <laughs> like, do you dip it in the coffee? Or you just, like, have it with the coffee, though? Because I... Because then you're just putting salt in your coffee if you're dipping in the coffee. That, to me, I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, let's not put our hand in the wet paint. No, I have them after my coffee. Okay, good. As long as you're not putting the fries in the coffee, because I don't know how I feel about that. Fries and ice cream. <laughs> First I have coffee, then I order the fries. <laughs> oh, Kohai's with Maisie with the fries and the ice cream. I just don't know if I could do it. I don't... I think I'd have to pass on the fries and the ice cream. Because, I mean, lately... Sadly, it isn't a thing in Germany. Uh, well, you'd have to do it, like, yourself. You'd have to buy your own, you know? Or get them in separate places and then, like, eat them in the car <laughs> or something. <laughs> I eat mostly, like, oat milk ice cream nowadays, so maybe that... Is it oatmeal? Is it oatmeal and fries just does not sound good together. Maybe that's where my hangup is. <laughs> Why I just eat it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, maybe Germany has its own thing that we just don't do here in the States. What's, what's something you guys do that, that would be odd to us? For a while, I know we weren't able to have those Kinder eggs. I think they're back now, but they were like, no, no, it's gambling. You can't have it. We're like, what are you talking about? Mm, it's still not quite as smooth as I want. That might be user error though. Let's see. What's that? Hey, Russ. How's it going? I was lurking on your stream while I was streaming. How'd it go? Oh, see, now I just picked up the purple. I don't know about that. I think this one will have to take a little bit of finagling with once this little base layer is done. But still, definitely better than the green one for sure. Are you playing more Dead by Daylight? I know that's like your go-to. You play so much Dead by Daylight, I feel like the, the creator should be asking you for like tips. <laughs> Fixed Friday's tech issues. Oh, good. Even more popped up. Oh no. I have no idea how to fix the issues. Oh boy, that's not good. Pork wasn't able to help or anything? What's going on? I don't think I've ever run into a problem that Pork couldn't help me fix. That man seems to know everything.
I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Both times I tried to stream it. Stream was crap. Oh, no. Well, this has something fun in the center, like lavender. Nope, just honeycombs like the others I've been doing. In German, I... I'm German and don't have a clue what food thingy we do. <laughs> I guess you'd have to hang out with an American and have them go, What are you eating? <laughs> Stream gets laggy and stuff. Today, OBS just kept randomly disconnecting like every 10 minutes. What? Yeah, that's real weird. I'm like, I'm sure you've thought of everything. Like, the only things I can think of, though, would be like... Like, maybe there's like an update or something? Like, uninstall it, reinstall it? I, I'm not a tech person. I, I don't know. That's rough, man. That is real rough. Are you using just straight OBS or like Streamlabs or Stream Elements or. I've never had that happen before. Jeez. That sucks, man. I'm sorry. into the Kingdom Hearts franchise. I had a friend whose older brother played it, so I watched a bunch of it, but I never actually went and played it myself. I just couldn't get into it. It was very, like, I feel like it was very Final Fantasy-esque, and I never really played those either. Oh no, cat hair. Get out of there. OBS with stream elements. It's a new issue that just randomly popped up for me. Gonna do a test stream in Streamlabs with alt account. See if it's just OBS. Oh. Well, I hope it works out. That's... oof. Well, knock on wood, that doesn't happen to me. Cause that's oof. I don't want that to happen. I was gonna start the Toy Story world today. I was so excited. Oh. Well, hopefully that just like magically gets better, you know, and we're all just scratching our heads as to why, and then you can play your game. <laughs> That's the best outcome, right? Like, oh, it just started working again. I don't know what happened. And then you're just fine. Yeah. Were you a big Toy Story fan? I liked Toy Story. They weren't my favorite franchise, but... I thought it was funny. I don't think I've seen the newer ones they did. I think I saw like... One and two? Maybe three? That's how most of my problems get solved, just randomly works one day. Hey, you know... As long as the outcome is what we want, why not? Right? <laughs> Just let it randomly start working. I'm not going to be mad about it. <laughs> I wasn't a huge story to Toy Story fan, but I liked them. Yeah, they were pretty good. Like, going back and looking at the animation, we're like, this was good, what? Like, especially in the first one, but... Back in the day, I was like, oh my god, it's so cool, you know? <laughs> Did anyone watch that live action Buzz Lightyear one? I couldn't get myself to do it. I'm like, it's just. I have a Buzz Lightyear already. He's a toy from the, like, 90s. <laughs> Early 2000s. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? It wasn't a live action. It was animated, right? It was just, like, really realistic. 
So much that in my memory it was just live action, see? Vex, I actually want to watch the Lightyear movie. I'm not a Toy Story fan. See, maybe it's different then. <laughs> well, if you go and watch it, Vex, you'll have to let us know how it is. Or at least let me know how it is. I I'm not convinced. It takes some convincing on my end for me to think that's a that's a good idea. But I'm right with you there with wanting to see the the D and D movie that's coming out. That looks pretty cool. And I think that the the sixty five the Adam Driver definitely looks cool. What do you think, Vex? Do you think the pastel is better? I think the pastels are going better myself. Maybe this is just a pastel project and I didn't know it at first. I would agree. I'm really liking the interaction with the pink, the purple and the pink. Yeah. It's still not as bright as I want, but it is better. Much better than last time. I'm, I don't know how I, this one's so bright and the other one isn't, but I'm guessing maybe a paper thing. Ugh, too much water. Get out of here, water. Hi, Nimbus. I see a kitty. What are you doing, little kitty? That got way light over there. Yeah, I think I added too much water on that top little spot and it washed away all of my color. I'm gonna have to add a little back to that spot. So I'm just gonna randomly throw out there one of my absolute favorite color pairings is turquoise and magenta. Kind of makes me think of that. Oh, I don't like I have a magenta. Turquoise and magenta. I wonder if that would work well on one of these. Or maybe they're too opposite. Would they mix well? Because it's got a mix, right? Well, let me finish these last two and I can play around with my paint and see if we have that. How's the music volume today, guys? Doing all right? Mm, go 
this knee is like super saturated turquoise and magenta. No complaints here? Okay, as long as you can hear it all right. All right, hang on, my nose is going crazy. Ugh. Nose is taken care of, and I pet the kitty. All is well in the world. Alright, All right, one left, and then we can start going back over some stuff. so sad the green didn't turn out. Like, I really love those green colors. <laughs> and they were just so bad. <gasps> Disappointed. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here's the first part of that. That's not too shabby. I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad about that at all. Alright, let me see if I have a I think I do. I think this is going to be as close to that as I have. Like those two colors, kind of? Yeah, I don't think that would work well in the beehive. I'm not sure those would blend. I mean, they kind of do. Kind of like a weird purple. Looks very gray, though. Maybe not for this project. Maybe something else, though. Alright, well, for this project, though, let's get some water into our purple over here. Because I think we're going to need that. closest base I have for that. Let's see. <gasps> What's that? Alexi Pico 01. Hello. Thank you for the follow. How's your day going? And then do some of that. See if we can make like a light pink out of this. Mm, we got a sneeze. Looking white everywhere. No. Ugh. Who sneezes? Treat that Zeno. Am I allergic to paint? Is that what's happening now? My newest allergy. Excuse me. Welcome to my life, my life of sneezing. Alright, let's see. What's this look like? <laughs> mm, I mean, it's kind of pink, but I don't love it. I'm not sure how to fix that. like pretty dull. It looks pretty in the like pink form though. It's like a chalky kind of. I guess I would work in like a thin layer. How dry are you? Oh. 
pretty dry. All right, I think I want to do like a very thin layer of the pink. Not sure how much more adding pigment you can do with watercolor. Yeah, not a bunch. It worked fairly well on the green, the turquoisey kind of blue one. So I'll just do a little bit. doing seems to be helping though it's doing something for yeah just like a little something trying not to do too much it's all just experimentation see what works and what doesn't right at least it is here Dragging my sleeve to the paint. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> See, it's not my hair I get in the paint, it's the rest of me I get in the paint. This was going to be the last one in this series, guys. What do you think we should do next? Stick with like what I was doing with my oatmeal lid series, so like abstract shapes and things. Or should I go back to trying to do like little scenes? I don't know. What do you want to watch? Be one with the art, right? my clothes will be. <sighs> Sniffle, why? I just blew my nose. Why are we extra sniffly? I'm all for more abstract shapes like abstract environments. I don't know about environments. It'd be another thing I found in my house and then tried to do little squiggles. <laughs> squiggles, not squiggles captions. Come on, keep up. <laughs> all right, what we got here at Purple? purple on that. Maybe it's about time for some more purple. I'm biased towards abstraction though. <laughs> That's true, you are. <laughs> oh, what do I have a message? What's happening? What is happening? Who's blowing up my phone? liked all these honeycomb things, although some of them have not turned out the way I've wanted. But you know, that's how that goes sometimes. Sometimes it's just not exactly what you thought it'd be, but it's still fun. We had a good time. Hopefully we'll end it on a good note. <laughs> Alright, give me this purple too here. see if I can make like a cool drawing and then do like what well, come here I just want like a little bit I 
and then see what I can paint on that and maybe use like the color pencils like I was talking about earlier a little bit for details but I, a, I gotta find the color pencils and then B I gotta figure out what I would even try and draw it's been a while since I just you know said I had to draw something who knows the Franken comb is one I'd actually be really interested to revisit, like work on it more, some cool design over it or something. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd revisit it, but I, I wouldn't be opposed to restarting it, like trying a different um, amount of like colors of green and going with something lighter since lighter seems to be better. That's better, okay. I would not be opposed to restarting the green one. Maybe with like some different greens. Because the middle of it's just so muddled, and I couldn't really do anything with the middle. I mean, I could go over it with a gold gel pen, but like, what do you do with the middle of that? Because like, it's so, here, I have it right here. It's just so muddy in the middle, you know? And that I don't think I'm going to do anything with, not with the watercolor, you know? I'd be interested to challenge you to revisit Frank and Comb, like paint on top of it with something else and I draw a design with detail. Yeah, it would definitely have to be something other than watercolor. I don't currently have any other paints besides watercolor. So like if I ever got like a gouache or something, people are usually recommending me gouache, but come on, why is this space paving come on? I think that maybe would cover it alright. For you not to be so bold into your I like my lines, Vex. <laughs> Over here, just trying to make me embrace the chaos. No! <laughs> I will fight tooth and nail. <laughs> maybe I'll like, use it as a, a base for something else. I mean, maybe. It might sit there for a while. Maybe that'll be a good, like, Halloween project. Pull out the Franken comb. <laughs> Let's see what we could do with it. Oh, I also have a birthday stream to plan coming up. Okay, there's the hair in the purple. Come here. Get out of there. Gotta figure out what to do for that. Gotta do some Rothko risk, maybe ruining it, altering it beyond its current state. Maybe. We'll see. But I have a birthday stream to figure out what to do. I liked the contour drawing idea, but it definitely is like very audience participation, you know? But I don't know about that one. Maybe something else. We'll see though. This one's turned out pretty good, though.
This one is coming along nicely. Right. I'm fairly pleased. What I'm actually really scared to do is to try and draw like people again. It's been so long since I have tried to draw people. And I'm very harsh on myself and others when it comes to people. Because like, you can tell when it doesn't look right, you know? I'm just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm I don't think I'm brave enough to attempt that again for a while. <laughs> My turn to treat the Zeno. Treat the Zeno. You guys can't see. People are the hardest thing because we are so hyper aware of even the smallest imperfections, especially if we're actually going for accuracy, right? Yeah. Exactly. Your brain just knows when it doesn't look right, right? Like, nope, I don't know what it is. But that's some kind of creepypasta that is not a person. <laughs> That is three dogs in a trench coat, not a person. Your technical skill and I, though, are top tier, so I think you'd be surprised how well you'd be able to do it still. Your technical skill is way better than mine. But, like, I'm so out of practice. I'm, like, ten years out of practice. <laughs> it would definitely, like, there would be a learning curve. There would definitely be a learning curve. But, Tricky, get over here. I need to practice. Go take a nap. Let me paint you. Let me try and draw you. Where's my charcoal? <laughs> Everyone has their strengths, though, so hopefully it would come back to me. I really liked the... You were doing, like, these, like, sci-fi kind of, like... I got little Jack right? <laughs> Me? Take a nap? Sure. <laughs> I really liked the... What was it? Like, the city... Cityscape? Like, the sci-fi weird cityscape things you were doing? I think those are my favorite thing you've ever done. Those are so cool. And that is definitely something I cannot do. <laughs> we all have our strengths and weaknesses, for sure. I remember in class, one of the hardest things I had to do was, it was the day they wanted us to draw a skeleton. And so I like focused on the skull and stuff because I could not for the life of me do the ribcage. Like as soon as I'd look at it, it just became like a blur of lines and it was just chaos in my head. I'm like, I can't, I can't even start to make sense of that. It was crazy. I'm like trying to count in space and I'm like, I can't. For some reason that was just like, was not happening. It was very strange. Brain is like, that's not anything we need to be drawing. Like dyslexia, but for rib cages. Is that is that a thing? <laughs> when was I doing them? Were they paint or pen and ink? You know, I don't even know. 
there was like floating and it was very like gothic and dark colors i don't i don't remember it wasn't any time um too long ago i don't think Maybe in the past couple of years? You're probably getting hung up on the symbol. Oh, like the ribcage? I don't, I don't know what it was. It was just my brain could not, could not count the lines, could not space them properly. It was just, I'm like, I know what ribcage looks like. Like, why, why is this so hard? It was just not happening. So apparently, skeletons are not in the cards for me. Cause it's like, you know, where they're like, oh, zebra stripes are camouflaged. <laughs> it was like zebra stripes camouflaged in grass. I'm focusing too much on what it is, rib cages so are just breaking down into shapes. Yeah, it just wasn't gonna happen. I don't know. It was definitely interesting. I never had my brain look at something and then just like get cross-eyed, like, like, oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> Ooh, all right. Ooh. I know no one redeems stretch, but I need to stretch. But no, you should find your little sci-fi floating cityscape things again because those are so cool. I couldn't help but think like those just like deserve to be in like a weird gothic horror comic book or something, you know? It's very cool. All right, now what color do we use for the outline in between everything? Do we go like opposite and try and do the... I don't even know. What you doing? He's my girl. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi. Oh, thank you. I think I'm remembering some of you might be some of what you might be thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. We want to like go like red with it. That might be kind of fun. Lacorius is high. Oh, hi. How's it going? Long time no see. <laughs> or like, who are you talking to? I don't know that voice. Wait a minute, I do. Let's see here. Cause like I just did the purple. I kind of think that might be fun. You're liking the idea too? Yeah, I think so. I think it, cause it goes with the pink kind of. Kind of like it. Let's add more water to that. We'll do that. Come here. Give me that water. I should. So like Afa, one of the artists I follow in here, who's super super good at watercolors, by the way. He uses a, um, like a, a little, like, syringe kind of thingy for putting water in his paints. He uses, um, powdered watercolor, which is very cool. Actually, I think this one was too big, if I recall. I needed a smaller one. Where's my... This one? Too small. This one. Yeah. That was fascinating. Never heard of powdered watercolor. Yeah, so instead of having like a, like a tray, you have these little jars of powder and then you put them in like this and add water to it. It was really cool. I was like, what is that? But his um, father also is a, just like a professional painter. He uses watercolor and stuff and so he got the idea and all his stuff from there. Very cool. It's very good. I 
This is up in Alaska doing like commission pieces and stuff. I found him on um, Twitch just painting one day. Nobody in there. I was like, oh my god, this is gorgeous. I was like, oh hey, how's it going? <laughs> like, why do you not have a gazillion people in here going, oh my god, and freaking out about this? <laughs> Cap, happy Sunday. Thanks for popping in. I hope you're having a great day. We're just doing the final outline on this piece. I'm pretty happy with how it went. I think it's pretty cute. Still, I still think the yellow one's my favorite, but I'm I'm not mad about this one. Pretty successful day, I think. Sorry, this is just. <sighs> what is that noise? Zeno. This one's definitely my new fave. <laughs> really? This is your favorite one? <laughs> Trying to make the outline real small. So it's subtle but there, you know? See, got too big. Gotta stay on top of it. There we go. That's better. I don't know what it is, but I'm all about the pink. Well, it ended up being like less of a gradient and more just like pink honeycomb with purple outline, which is kind of weird. But it's cute. I think the yellow is the best. I must say, the first one, still my favorite. I don't know why I love it so much, but I really, really love it. I don't know why. Maybe because of just how subtle it all is. And the yellow is not my favorite color. It's like my least favorite color. <laughs> just meant to be. <laughs> I was trying to be so so neat with my outline. It's all ragged. <laughs> Oops. Oops. So let's go down first. Green was my third most favorite. Oh, yeah? What's your favorite? Your two first two. And what's your least favorite? If the if Frankencomb is your third, who's number four? Uh oh. Somewhere over here about to blow my mind. Mm. 
Yellow first, pink second. Oh, the like bluish teal one you're not a fan of, huh? It was not doing it for you. That's funny. Yeah, I'm, I agree with you. It's yellow first, piece, pink second, though. I think that's my rating. Well, we might have to do something with Frankencomb then, like Vex suggested. Let's see if I can spruce him up a bit. So wiggly on this one. I think it's because I can't see the the lines of the original lines underneath as well. Pink, blue, green, yellow. You don't like the yellow one? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> I think I like the yellow one to because to me it's the most like technically perfect. Like the lines and the everything like that. Did exactly what I wanted. <laughs> That's so funny how everyone has different favorites. Well, there's one for everyone, right? There you go. Something for everybody. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> idea to paint like flowers but like fake flowers if that makes sense like fantasy flowers so like just make up a flower and then go and paint it I don't know if that would be fun but I kind of thought it might be I got the idea from the Velveteen Rabbit book I have the guy like drew the the magic flower that the fairy comes out of and it's just this fantastical thing you know and it looks really cute, though. I think it's that... It's, like, the most expected one. Like, we think honey, we think yellow, so it's not as interesting. Ah, uh, yeah. I like that idea of making up flowers. And then, like, trying to paint them really nicely. But I kind of want to see if I can, like, draw them, ink them, and then paint them, you know? But I've never tried, like, inking something like that, so I don't... I'm like, can I just use a ballpoint pen? Does that smear in water? <laughs> like, what kind of pen do I have to use? Do I have to get, like, a calligraphy thing? Or can I do it with something else? Probably something that isn't water-based ink. Yeah, like I'm gonna have to come up with something. Oh no. Okay. Love the detail. Thank you. I remember back when I was real young, I had this set of like, um, not Copic markers, but like outlining like manga pen. Like, I guess they were kind of markers. They're kind of like had felt tips like Sharpies. And I loved outlining my little cartoon characters with those things. I wonder, I mean, they're probably a little dried up. They're like 20 years old, <laughs> at least. I can find them though. I wonder if they're um, waterproof. Because <laughs> that could work. 
I remember when I got those. I was at a um, uh, an anime convention called Sakura-Con. I was real young. And I remember when they were bought for me, I was so excited. Because they were expensive. Even back then. Sorry, I heard a noise. Worth a go? Yeah, if I can find them. I, I do need to go searching through my art supplies. See if I can find those and see if I can find my, um, my Prisma colored pencils. I keep hearing something. But one of the windows is open to let in some fresh air. I'm wondering if I'm hearing like kids on the playground or something. Why? Why are you betray me? Stop. There we go. All right, there's the inside. Sir Kurgan was fun, right? So long ago. Yeah, they have a, a comic convention down here um, that Tricky and I have been to once? Twice? What? Twice. I think twice now? I want to say twice. And it's fun. It's just a lot smaller than it used to. And not that it's small, but Emerald City Comic Con is, was just real big. I haven't been cosplaying though, I just don't feel like I have a spot to to do it, and I'm doing other things nowadays, you know? I just heard a thump and then a cat goes screaming down the hall. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Cats are chaos. It's so true. We're getting done with this one. Almost there. big project outside of streaming will be trying to make these digital. That would be fun to try and learn how to do. Even just making the shape, I wonder if there's like a way to make this perfect shape. There is. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Because I know how to make a perfect circle now. That took me a while to figure out. <laughs> out. It doesn't look too crazy red. Maybe we'll take a break from super detailed things. The next dream, maybe I'll just do another um, space scene.
I saw a lady that started her her space scenes on black watercolor paper. I was like, what? That's genius. Because then you don't have to worry about the white showing through and stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try it now. Next time I go paper shopping, which actually might be a while. I have a lot of paper right now. Just bought a bunch. Black watercolor paper. That would be really cool. I mean, her stuff looked great. There's black watercolor paper, right? There is. I actually did see it at the store, and at the time I was like, that seems odd. How would you do that? And then I saw her stuff on the black watercolor paper, and I was like, oh my god, that's how you do that. It was really pretty. I don't know if they carried it at Michael's. I was, I was at a fancier art store when I saw it. They might, though. How does it even work? The pigments are so thin. Um... I don't know, that's how, that's how I was thinking, but when I watched her video, it worked fine. I guess you just make sure they're a little thicker. Like, right now, what I'm doing would probably be okay, you know? I don't know. Worth a try, I suppose, though. There we go. Last outline done. What do we think? Definitely more of a success, I think, technique-wise, than the other one. The pink and the purple did a good job. Look, and we did it short. We only took two hours. Ooh, and Chucky will be home soon. And he can play his game and he can stream some more Diablo. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Our little Valentine's honeycomb. And I'll show you guys all we have. So we have our Valentine's Day honeycomb, right here. Our pinks and purples. We have our original. We have our, like, mermaid one. And then we have our frankencomb. Who people seem to think deserves some kind of reviving. But we will see. <laughs> Let's see here. Can't work good still. But yeah, I'm pleased. What a fun little series. I really liked this, like, doing the shape thing with the watercolor pencils. It has been fun. I will give it that. Love the gold. Love to see a bumblebee near it. I'm not altering any of these current ones. I'm happy where they are. But yeah, this is so fun. It will live. The Frankencomb. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. So, we're done with that for today. Let's put this paint away before I accidentally... Maybe a fantasy butterfly. Maybe next time on a different painting. These are all complete. Oh, there goes Luna again. What you doing, Minnie? What are you doing? I poke you. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's find someone to raid. I will be on again. What is it? Today? Today's Sunday. Tuesday, 11 a.m. Central. Uh, thank you so much for Devers for, for following. Thank you so much for Alexi Pico one for following. Thanks for everyone who stopped by. And then let's find someone to raid. Who is on? Not a lot of people right now. What was that? Love the different colors. Thanks. Oh, we didn't get the Xeno to the next level. <gasps> well, now we have to wait a second. Xeno has to get to the next level. We're so close. We're just like that itty bitty bit. We can totally do it, guys. We have one last small goal. Well, here, while I search for someone to rain. <laughs> you guys want another art streamer? Maybe an art streamer would be fun. I guess Mud's playing Last of Us, which... Oh, he's like at the end. Last of Us 2. Do you guys like Last of Us 2, or should I find someone doing art? What do we think?
My goodness, kitties, what is happening? Let's see here. <laughs> Vex is on it. So close. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good job, Vex. <laughs> On to the next level. <laughs> we reached 22. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're even closer to 30 now. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna raid my friend who's playing... Uh, who's playing Last of Us 2. <laughs> I've got 2.4k wings, gotta put them to use. There you go. Yay! I'm so excited we got to the next level before we did that. <laughs> Let's go raid mud veins. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thanks again for stopping by. I think we're gonna take a break from the honeycomb. We'll probably just do space, unless I can find something fun to do on Tuesday. But thanks for stopping in. I will see you all next time. Bye!